What's going on people, I'm the Real Mossy and I have another Battlefield 3 quick tip for you. This time I'm here to tell you that you're special people with unique qualities and I appreciate every single one of you. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to talk about soldier specializations in this one. I'm going to try to demystify all 7 of the soldier specializations in the game. Some of them are straightforward but others are a bit complicated. Let's get started. There are a total of 7 unique soldier specializations in Battlefield 3. These are similar to the perks in Call of Duty games. But in Battlefield 3, you can only use one of the seven specializations at any one time. Each specialization has a squad upgrade which allows the specialization to be granted to all members of your squad. So if you have a squad sprint specialization, then everyone in your squad will benefit from it. The sprint specialization is a nice place to start since it's the first one you unlock. You unlock sprint at rank 2 and squad sprint at rank 23. The sprint specialization gives a soldier lightweight armor and equipment. All this means is that a soldier with a sprint specialization will sprint faster than normal. This can be useful when you want to make a quick escape or catch up to something. I find that sprint is most useful at the start of a match when you want to be the first person to get to a point and plant a radio beacon for tactical spawning. This isn't the most impactful of all the specializations, but you'll have to stick with it until you unlock the next one. And here's the next one, the ammo specialization. It's unlocked at rank 5 and squad ammo is unlocked at rank 26. This specialization is exactly what it sounds like. You get more ammo. Let's get to the specifics, and this is where it gets a little complicated. You get three extra magazines of ammo for all assault rifles, carbines, and PDWs. Two extra magazines for all LMGs. For shotgun snipers and handguns, it gets a little messy because it depends on the specific individual gun you're using. It ranges from two to four extra magazines of ammo depending on the gun. The ammo specialization does not apply to explosive ammunition, but you can get extra 40mm grenades for your grenade launcher with the ammo specialization. More on this later. The ammo specialization is useful if you're the type of player who stays alive for long periods of time or if you're the type of player who empties several clips to down a single enemy. If, on the other hand, you're the guy who dies 2 seconds after you spawn, this may not be the best choice for you. The third one you unlock is a flak specialization. You get it at rank 8 and the squad version at rank 29. This is basically a flak jacket and it protects you from explosive damage. It doesn't completely shield you from all the damage. You will still get hurt. And if you're in the center of a blast radius, you'll most likely die regardless of the flak specialization. Next up is the explosive specialization. It's unlocked at rank 11 and squad explode at rank 31. The explosive specialization gives you twice as much ammo for explosive gadgets. That means you get twice the ammo for all launchers, including AA launchers and the javelin, as well as gadgets such as the M15A mines, C4 explosives and claymores. This is by far my favorite specialization when I'm on the engineering kit, especially when I'm using AA launchers to take out jets and choppers. 6 AA rockets will help you keep the skies clear and 10 RPG rockets along with 6 M15A mines will keep the tanks at bay. Check out quick tip 2 for tips on using the AT mines effectively. A quick note about claymores. Uh, don't use this specialization when you're using claymores because 1. Claymores are on the support class and you can just resupply using your ammo crate and 2. You can only deploy a maximum of 2 claymores at any one time so the explosive specialization would be a complete waste when using claymores. The cover specialization is the 5th one you unlock. You get it at rank 14 and squad cover at rank 35. You know that blurred vision and muddled hearing your soldier experiences when bullets are flying at and around him? Well the cover specialization reduces this to a point where it's almost non-existent. Note that this does not provide cover or shield you from incoming bullets. All it does is reduce their suppressive effects. This will give you a clear line of sight when you're in a gunfight and allow you to be more accurate even with the enemy shooting at you. Opposite the cover specialization is a suppression specialization. It's unlocked at rank 17 and squad version at rank 33. It increases the suppressive effects of your fire and makes the enemy's screen blur faster. If the enemy has cover specialization equipped, the suppression specialization will cancel it out, and vice versa. This specialization is great when paired with an LMG with lots of ammo in the support class. Just go prone, pull out your bipod, and lay down some suppressive fire to help out your team. This is a good way to get the suppression assist ribbon. Alright, the last one is the frag specialization. You get it at rank 20 and the squad version at rank 37. This is similar to the explosive specialization, but instead of getting twice the ammo for explosive gadgets, you get twice the ammo for hand grenades and 40mm grenade launchers. At least that's what it says in the description. But here's what they don't tell you. If you attach the grenade launcher to your gun using the underslung rail, then the frag specialization won't apply to it. But don't worry though, because the ammo specialization will apply. 
So, you'll get 2 extra rounds for the grenade launcher with the ammo specialization when the grenade launcher is attached to a gun. The frag specialization will apply if you use the grenade launcher as a standalone, meaning it's not attached to a gun. But now, the ammo specialization does not apply anymore. So to clear things up, for the frag specialization to apply to the grenade launcher, the grenade launcher cannot be attached to a gun, and you only get one extra round for the launcher, as opposed to two extra rounds with ammo specialization, which only applies when the grenade launcher is attached to a gun with the underslung rail. I think I'll pass on this one. I think the explosive specialization is more useful and versatile than the frag specialization, but that's because I love taking out vehicles. One extra frag grenade and one round of uh, grenade launcher ammo doesn't measure up to five extra rounds of RPG. But if you're someone who likes to shout, frag out! Then you could try this one out, but uh, I suggest you switch back to something more useful when you're done having fun with the frags. One more general tip, remember to use the squad specializations to your advantage. Everyone in your squad should have a different squad specialization so that collectively each person in the squad will benefit from all four different specializations. If you haven't unlocked a particular specialization yet, you can still have access to it if someone in your squad has a squad version of it. You can even switch squads to find someone with a squad version of a specialization that you don't have yet. Well that's it people, I hope I've shed some new light on the soldier specializations. If you liked the video, why not hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you want more. Thank you for watching, I'm the Royal Mossy. Tell your friends about me.